Be careful with the word cross multiply. Yeah, cross multiply across. Multiply. Is that a cross? No. Yes, yes, it is. it is. Yes, it is. Oh okay, that is. Sorry. Okay? You guys okay with this? All right. And we'll, we'll talk about why. I'll show you guys why. So this will be triangle times your what? Diamond. Okay, over the square times your happy face. I don't know, maybe we should do it now. Okay. All right, is that better? Yeah. Probably have to tape it. Do this? Yeah. Okay. There you go. I can't do anything without Eddie. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. People don't know how Eddie's like. This guy's. They should pay him triple. You have that on um, video. <laughs> Get this on tape, Eddie. They should pay you triple. Send it to administration. You guys have always made mistakes when it came to Eddie. Pay the guy triple. You have no idea, Ed. All right. I was going to talk a little bit why, OK? Because I know a lot of times, like some people, they look at this and they go, well, why, why do I do what we do? Well, let me, let me give you a sort of simple example, OK? I'm going to draw for you this kind of rectangle, OK? And this rectangle represents a hole. OK? Represents a whole piece, whatever you want to call it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rectangle and maybe partition it into, oh, I don't know, one, two, three, what? That's four pieces. You with me on, on that? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade three of those four pieces. So that represents, really, of the whole, three-fourths. You with me on this? Mm -hmm. yes. I shaded three out of the four pieces. So this is a way we can visualize you know, the concept of a fraction. And then over here, you know, again, maybe I'll do this and I'll do it in blue. I can describe to you as well. This represents, again, a whole. And this time, I'm going to really do the following. I'm going to try to represent here not the whole, but I'm going to shade now vertically in blue. I'm going to shade how many pieces? Two pieces. So this represents two what? Two thirds of the whole. Are you OK with that? So I drew a picture of three-fourths of the whole, a picture of two-thirds of the whole. So I can describe fractions this way. It doesn't matter if I partition the whole into um, you know, these, these rectangles that are horizontal or rectangles that are vertical. It doesn't matter. OK, you guys OK with this? OK, good. So what I'm going to do is this. If this is three-fourths of the whole, what I want to do now is take two-thirds of the three-fourths. So I'm trying to take two-thirds of three what? Three-fourths. Three what I'll do on top of the three-fourths is I will partition into the whole into, th into two-thirds. And now I'm going to shade the representation of two-thirds in blue. You guys with me on this? So on top of the three-fourths of the whole, I shade the two-thirds. I'm representing two-thirds of three-fourths. OK, good. Now, here's a question I want you guys to answer. OK? Erase this. 
I want you to answer the following question. How many total pieces do you see here of this whole? How many total pieces are there? Just total pieces. Don't, I'm not counting shaded one, shaded twice. Just how many pieces of this whole are there? Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This whole is partitioned into twelve pieces. You with me on this? So this is twelve pieces. Of the 12 pieces, how many are shaded twice? Meaning, shaded in black and blue. Eight, six. Let me count. That's shaded only in what? Blue. Shaded only in blue. That's not even shaded. Shaded in black. Shaded in black. Shaded in black. Shaded in what? Both. So there's one, two, three, four, five, what? Six. There's six pieces that are shaded in both black and blue. So this will be six. Do you guys know in mathematics, what does the word of represent? Multiplication. Multiplication. <clears throat> so do you guys know, it's not a coincidence that two times three is what? Six. Six. And three times four is? Twelve. Twelve. Do you guys notice what we did? You can take a shorthand for this process. You don't have to draw these rec rectangles every time you multiply fractions. You just have to remember that you multiply straight what? Across. The corresponding numerators multiplied together, divided by the product of the denominators. And that's really where this idea of multiplying fractions comes from. Whew. OK, so you guys can go home and show your kids amaze your friends, frighten your enemies. Okay, that you guys know where this format comes from. Okay? So, for example, they said to you now to do the following. 35 over 70 times 15 over 49. What would you guys do? No. What does it say? To multiply. So let me go through every gory detail, every step. I'm going to have to multiply 35 and 15 in the numerator. Is that true? Because we're multiplying again across. They're going to multiply 70 with what? 49 to the denominator. <coughs> You guys okay with that? <coughs> okay. Does anybody happen to know what is 35 times 15 anyway? 755? Okay. I'll take your word for it. What's 70 times 49? Anyone know what 70 times 49 is? You guys know? What is it? 3,220. Anybody second that? Sure. <laughs> 3,220. Is that what it is? You going to make me do the arithmetic? You guys need the practice, not me. How would you do this if you had to do this, right? Here we go. So what's 7 times 9? 7 times 4 is 28. Am I right? 7 times 4 is 28. What's 28 plus 6? So it's 3430. Okay. Now, who remembers from 